Well, that was the reason uh, we asked for further explanation. Because when you lump everything together, it doesn't answer the question explicitly. So for us to get to the root, so we asked for further uh, uh, explanation by way of more documents, breaking it down to states and then to LGS. Because you can have a situation that a region, a zone has 1,024 workers in one place out of 3,000. You will now go home with the feeling that this zone is overrepresented. And then you'll be shocked to find out that two or three states in that zone do not even have anything. And that one or two states will take everything. And that was the reason we now said, bring everything down to states. If you have North Central, which has 1,024 workers, in the National Assembly, if you have them, fine. Now break it down to states, Kogi, Kwara, uh, Niger, uh, Plateau, Benue, and so on and so forth. Let's see how these uh, 1,024 workers were distributed. And they go further to also go tell us about the states. Because if you look at, you see some states are overpopulated with workers. And then if, when you go into that state, you see that they all belong to about three, four, five local governments. And, but that is not the, the, the spirit of the federal character principle. It's not. The essence of federal character situation is to ensure that people get what they rightly deserve so that they have that sense of belonging, that this country belongs. It's for all of us. It's for a sense of fairness to be seen. That's the essence of federal character. And once you don't do that, you defeat the whole essence and purpose of the, of, of, of the whole thing. So that is why we asked for further present, uh, presentation of documents up to local government levels. Yes, sir. There was some state that has less than 50% uh, affirmative, according to the federal character of That each state was not have less than 50%. In places like Southwest, until we see everything that we have asked for. You can't bap somebody's hair in his absence. He read something that represented six items, not east, not central, not west, southeast, south, uh, south, southwest. Not enough. Now break it down to 36 states plus one federal capital territory. And then we begin to ask questions from there. So when you ask a question now, you are asking very well. Because you now go and look at a state, you say 15%, and have you checked the population of the state? Have you checked the number of local governments? Some states uh, feel like Bayelsa State, for instance, eight local governments. And then Kano is 44 local governments. So if you look at 11% just like that, you, you, you get it wrong. You get it wrong, but if you look at an animal will only release blood as the body can contain. Is it not so? The, the, the blood you get from cow will definitely be more than the one you get from uh, the chicken. So let's see the number of local government. Just bring it down to LGS. If you are LGA, because that should actually be the basis for assessing fairness. We can't we can, we can go and create people for you if you have an LGA and they've all been taken and you can only provide 11% of the total force, we're not going to create, bring people from outer planet now. So we'll, which, at the end of the day, if the committee realized that this uh, distribution was uh, deliberately done, is there any sanction for that? Yeah, you check your uh, it's constitution. It's a constitutional issue. This is one of the few committees that derives its, its power from the constitution. It's a constitutional issue, federal character principle. We didn't create it. It was created to ensure that there's unity in Nigeria, there's fairness. You know, everybody should have that sense of belonging. You don't feel that you're being cheated. It has even gone further to the point of uh, the second mandate, where we would have to look at social uh, infrastructures, 
roads, hospitals, schools. You can't go and continue to concentrate roads in one place because you're in a position, in position. No. It must go round like that. So that's the whole essence for that. And it is punishable. You have consequences for not adhering to it. You can check that out in your constitution. It's there. The National Assembly uh, workforce came into existence that they have not replaced anybody, they have not employed. And at the last time employment was carried out was 2018. And that's, 20, and that's um, eight years ago. And that, as we speak, there are 300 vacancies, about 300 vacancies. And I said, I want exact figure. He said he was going to furnish us with that. So. Finally, yes. we've seen a situation where a committee will investigate uh, issues of this nature mm -hmm. to a 